<laughs> Happy Tuesday. What a beautiful day to be alive. I'm here in Concord, uh, North, uh, North Carolina, which is uh, north of Charlotte. And I happen to be hanging with my homeboy. <laughs> I'm here with Tony Hill. Is that great or what? And uh, we met at the symposium. And uh, we bonded then, and we're bonding more now. And it's really an awesome opportunity. It's a privilege to be here. So say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're learning about each other, and we want to share some of this uh, experience and knowledge. And so uh, Tony teaches yoga. And uh, so he's pretty cool about all that, about getting in touch with his insides. And that's what we're going to talk about today. What do you think about that? We're going to talk about what it takes to be in touch with your inside because it's an inside job. job yeah. So, with all that being said, I want to give some time to Tony to tell us about what Tony thinks. You know what I think. <laughs> Hello, family. How you guys doing? Um, just glad to be here with my my. My boy Casey here hanging out in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, he drove all the way from what Washington, Washington yeah. State. Yeah, yeah. Had the honor of hanging out for the last couple of days, just having some deep conversations. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> going going in, you know. So yeah, so it's just sitting out here on a nice sunny day. Watching yeah. The chemtrails and yeah it was sunny to just start with and the chemtrails were relentless <laughs> it's changed everything yeah. as always yeah yeah but we were just talking about going you know instead of looking out you know for things but looking in you know and uh, most people look out here for you know things to satisfy their life or you know to but it's all about reversing that and looking in and that's what yoga does, causes you to go in, to turn that satellite dish inward, you know, check in with your breathing, you know, what's going on in your thoughts. And so when you do that, that gives you a little break, you know, a little respite from the monkey mind, that those 10,000 things that can, you know, just go through our minds every day, you know, which over time causes stress. Um, and so... You know, that's what yoga is. It's, you know, joining together, the uniting, um, and, you know, looking within and finding out that everything is connected. You know, yeah. So we've just, um, just been having that kind of conversation and just, you know, just hours. Hours. <laughs> we were sitting by Mallard Lake looking at the Mallards. Yes. And discussing the, uh, the whole idea of what influences most people most people are influenced from an outside source because that's what they believe and in beliefs you got a lie in television you have a lie it's tell a lie vision it's a be li be lie if the, the 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 root word is lie if you keep looking at it so what separates most people from their reality is the lie they don't realize it's all an inside job. They're looking outside themselves for a resolution, for an answer, for a, a, to, to resolve everything when it's not there. It's chasing a, an elusive um, idea completely. Religion does it, politics does it, you know, posture, all those things. So how do you find your truth? Where is your truth? Where does it live? It's an inside job. You know, and that's the freedom. We were just having this conversation about, you know, that one of the things that I find to be absolute is that you don't have to think outside of the box when you don't see the box. Right. right. So, you know, most people are looking for some some solve. You know, I need to have this solved. Well, that gets away from also the life mystery which keeps us questioning. And if you don't keep questioning, if you actually think you know everything, you learn nothing. Zero. Ask questions, right? Question yeah, everything. Question everything. Question authority. You know, question everything because that's how we learn. 
And when you realize so many people don't ask questions because they don't want to appear stupid. stupid yeah. Right? Right. Right. And I think a stupid person is the one who doesn't ask questions because they don't want to appear to be the fool. But, hey, we're all been fooled. We've been fooled. Nobody's free of this. It's a trap. And when you ask the questions and the questions can't be answered, that makes you realize that the person who doesn't really know what they're talking about. Right? Yeah. yeah. They can't answer the question. They can't answer the question. <laughs> Now, I was about to tell uh, Tony about a principle I learned, um, and I learned this as a uh, sales um, and uh, trainer. I trained a lot of people in, met you know, methods, and um, one of them is, uh, and uh, we started, but I never got to it, so it just reminded me, is about reversing. Now, this is a term that a lot of people have never heard. Now, all reversing represents is that when you're asked a question, rather than just answer, because p most people are trained to answer the question. You know, they're, they're like monkeys, just answer the question, God damn it. You know, answer the question. Well, in reversing, what you do is you actually answer the question by asking another one. And here's an example. You know, why did you do that? You know, whatever it was, doesn't matter. We'll just use that as a simple premise. Why did you do that? Well, that's a curious question. Why do you ask me that? That's step one of a reversal. Okay, now what you'll discover in reversing is that most questions asked are not the real question being asked. There's layers. So if you can reverse somebody, usually to the second or third or fourth level, you're actually going to find the real question that was being asked. It's a setup. And most people don't get it. They're being set up. So the more you reveal... Another principle that I taught is don't spill your candy in the lobby. Now, what does that mean? If you give all information, you know, just, just dumping it all out, number one, you leave no room for mystery. And mystery is what makes us curious. But more importantly, it's a manipulative tactic. If somebody knows everything about you and got you all figured out, they can manipulate you in a lot of ways. It's a tactic. It's a technique. You know, so who's fooling who? Who is the fool? If you're on a ship of fools and you're out in the sea full of ships of fools, who's the fool? Who's fooling who? It's a proverbial question, mind you. <laughs> and it's only one that we can answer ourselves. Nobody can answer these questions for us. That's right. So if you aren't asking questions, if you're just taking base story, you might ask yourself, why? Why do you just accept things without question? And then it's an inside job, right? You got to go in and ask yourself, yeah. you know, you just got to yeah. go inward, go yinward. Yeah, go <laughs> yinward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. And, you know, see, with discovery, and this is all Tony and I are discovering, we're discovering ourselves through each other. We're making ourselves available as mirrors. And that's what life is. This is how we learn, is we mirror ourselves through others. And I've always said in the simplest term, if you, don't, if you think I'm scary, just remember who I'm mirroring. If somebody wants to be a total asshole with me, boy, do I, I can play that card. I can stand up and show you what a real asshole looks like so that you get it clear that it's not pretty, it's not fun, it's not appropriate, and... Why are we going there? And that is a proverbial question, mind you. It's proverbial. And until you're willing to ask the question, you're not going to get it. And if you're not willing to accept the answer that you get from your questioning, you're not ready. <laughs> Funny how it works, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, look at who's here. Mm. Show Charlotte. Them, sh Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. Show, show them your mug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I get to hang out with, the, with these two. These are beauties. His, bo his boxers. <laughs> 
Yeah, we went out walking and, um, you know, watching them do their Sir Marks a lot, you know, business. Mark the territory. Mark the territory. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a real beautiful opportunity. I was looking so forward to getting here. This is the furthest I'm going east and north on this particular trip. I'm reversing at this point. Headed back. I'm going to start my journey back tomorrow. And uh, Tony's heading off to uh, see family and friends in uh, Chica Ch Chicago. Yeah. And uh, I'm heading to Atlanta. Yes. I'm going to go see Jeffrey, <laughs> baby Jesus. <laughs> and then I'm going to go see Danielle in, um, back in uh, Alabama. And then I'm heading back to... What's uh, up, Danielle? Yeah, Danielle. Hey, girl. <laughs> coming after. Coming to see you, too. <laughs> Looking forward to it and meeting your country boy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, it's always it's a privilege and a pleasure uh, to spend time with um, everyone. And on this occasion, it's Tony. And yes. I, I love this brother. All right, thank you. know, you. it's a beautiful thing. You That's know, right. this is a beautiful brother. It's all love over here. <laughs> so, peace signs. Keep yeah, those yeah. peace signs together. So, keep the peace signs together. And, uh, oh, have a beautiful, wonderful, marvelous day. Oh, and, you know, I never mention this. And I'm reminding myself because it's important to remind myself as... If you like what you see and you want to become a part of the conversation, go ahead and subscribe. You know, get involved in the groups. Join us on Facebook. If you want to support the journey, you know, there, I'm setting up a Patreon. I'm setting up PayPal, you know, to expand the universe. And this isn't about me. It really isn't about me. It's about us. Right? <laughs> Look at this. Kiss a dog. You'll find out how it's all just, it's about pure love. That's what it's all about. So, um, let me think. Is there anything else? Oh, oh. Boom! Ha, ha, ha. You've just, just been, been loved. loved. <laughs> Ciao for now. Ciao. <laughs>